Eastern Conference and Western Conference hostilities are renewed on the ice tonight. Hi, everybody. I'm James Cebulski, along with Ray Ferraro for EA Sports, continuing coverage of the NHL. The officials there at center, and I think we are about to get this one underway. And this one is officially underway with the puck dropped. Taken by Couturier. Dumps it in. Minnesota's gained possession along the boards. Through center. And that's just out of reach. Takes the puck at the point. Oh, what a stop! Oh, and he whiffs on it. Hart's going to hang on to that one for a whistle. Quickly on top of that, James. He needed a cover there. Still plenty of time left in this frame. The game is still scoreless. Minnesota's won the faceoff. Taken along the wall by Spurgeon. Move to the middle. Comes up with the stop. Quick pass across to Lindblom. Sends it deep inside the offensive zone. And that's stolen and they'll go on the attack. Fires it into the offensive zone. Spurgeon's taking it from his own end. And they'll go on the attack. Great pressure by Lindblom. Sends it in on the attack. Minnesota's got the puck along the boards. And they'll go the other way with it. Boom! Oh, nowhere to go on the play. Minnesota's got the puck along the wall. Oh, it serves up a little too sweet with that save. And they get the puck out. Quick feed to Kaprizov. And they'll go the other way with a great play by Konechny. Almost lost the puck, but hangs on here as play continues. Oh, bold move by the goaltender as he pokes it away. Hart's going to opt for the whistle and give everybody a chance to breathe. Sometimes you get running around. It's the shift gets long. This helps. Plenty of playing time left in this frame. Still looking for our first goal. And as the puck is dropped, they win the draw here inside the defensive zone. Trying to clear the zone. And they get it out. Manages to hang on. Puck scooped up by Fiala. Moves it to the over to Protein. Great reach with the puck check. Handles the puck at the point. And he takes a shot. That's gloved by Hart. Puck picked up by Eriksson Ek. Unable to reach that one. Picked up along the wall by Dumba. Minnesota's got it across the line. And that doesn't exactly go take to take. The Flyers gain possession along the wall. Picked up along the boards by Sandheim. And they get the puck out of the defensive end. And they'll dump it in. The Flyers have it behind the cage. And it's turned aside by Fleury. Puck grabbed by Dumba. Gains the zone on the left wing. And now it's grabbed by Greenway. Rister denies him in front. Quick pass to Faraby. Scooped up along the wall by Atkinson. Trying to engage with physicality here. Taken by Provorov. Here's the clearing attempt, and they get it out. Dumps it into the ozone. Minnesota's got the puck along the wall. Through the neutral zone now, picking up steam. Puck scooped up by Provorov. Here's a chance. Routine save made by Hart. Grabbed along the board by Ellis. Looking to clear the defensive zone. And his teammate comes up with it. Puck picked up by Ellis. And now it's grabbed by Duhane. Along the right side into the offensive zone. Centering pass in front. And they can't connect. Provorov's lugging the puck. And they send it down the ice. And the puck clears the zone. Inside the final minute of the first here. The Flyers will play it from the defensive zone. A 
Officials getting ready to drop the puck to get play back underway. Philadelphia's got possession here in their own end. Taken along the wall by Sanheim. Grabs control of it at the point. And with that, the first period comes to an end. Both teams will have a chance to get a breather, and they'll be back on the ice with period number two in not too long. Number two. Still no score in this one. We'll see if period number two finds ourselves a goal. One period already in the books. Ray, how have you seen this thing? Oh, hey, James. I just woke up. Nobody's had any shots on goal here. The game's scoreless. Chop, chop, boys. Get to work. Dumps it in. Minnesota's got the puck behind the net. along the boards. Sets it out right in front. Can't connect. York's taken down to the ice. We got a penalty coming up. Trying to clear. Stays in the zone, but they maintain possession. Goltek is at the bench with the delayed penalty being called. They've got an extra attacker now on the ice. Moves it over to York. Official to pass down his sentence. Zuccarello's getting called for tripping on the play. Philadelphia's man advantage unit will take to the ice for the first time tonight. Oh, I love playing on the power play. It's my favorite thing I did. So here you are in a scoreless game. These guys can't get on the ice fast enough for their first opportunity. Philadelphia's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Minnesota's got possession of the puck. Here he is in front. Oh, what a stop as he gets a piece of it with his toe. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Hayes. An easy save by Fleury. Can't connect on the pass. Denies him. He got all of it. Picked up along the wall by Hayes. Gains control of the puck here at the line. Just wide. Jostles for the puck, but still hangs on. Philadelphia's got a hold of it along the wall. Easily turned aside. Oh, the ball tender and in. That's a goal. Philadelphia's gone in front here in the second. What do you hear between the benches? Nobody's really that comfortable. I mean, they're happy, of course, they've got the lead, but this is going to stay close. Puck grab by Spurgeon. Read perfectly with the stick at center by Hayes. And that slides right out to center ice. Taken by Spurgeon. Through the neutral zone up along the wing. Right up front. And that one's broken up. Looking to get it out. They can't escape, but they maintain possession. Gets the puck in deep. Moves it to Spurgeon. And he easily stops that one. Oh, wow! Stops him again! Stop one, stop two. The goalie makes a couple of excellent saves. Puck scooped up by Fiala. Gaining momentum up along the side. Moved in front! And that one's broken up by a great defensive play. You'll need more than that to beat him. Flurries on top of that one for a whistle. A little bit of traffic starting to form around the net. Here in the back half of this period, the Flyers have taken a 1-0 lead. Joseph's won the faceoff. Sends it over to Duhane. Dishes it to Bugstad. And that's stopped by Hart. There's another stop. Right spot makes the double save. Positioning does it all. Puck set in, and that will allow for a fresh group of forwards to get out on the ice. Philadelphia's got possession here in the offensive zone. And he uses his reach to disrupt the play. Couldn't connect, although not exactly an ideal pass to begin with. 
The Wild have gained control of the puck along the wall. Bugstad's got it into offensive territory. And that's a smart heads-up play by Provorov. The Flyers have continually put themselves in good positions defensively tonight. It seems like every shift they're stealing a puck. And he makes the easy save. Takes the pass from his goaltender. Up along the wall on the right side and into the attacking area. Picked up along the boards by Hartman. They go on the attack from the left side. And that's poked away by Lawton. The Flyers have a hold of it in the defensive zone. Trying to get it out of their own end. And no luck with that one. Oh, Slurt heads up play to keep it in the offensive zone. Puts it in deep. Puck picked up by Brodine. Pushes it across to Hartman. Goes right to the crease. Wide. Most dangerous place on the ice. And he can't capitalize. Intercepted in the offensive end by Kaprizov. The Wild have the puck in the neutral zone. And with that, two periods now in the books. Been a great night of hockey here on EA Sports, and we got the third period coming at you in moments. Been a great night for hockey so far. He's Ray Ferraro, I'm James Sabalski. Let's drop the puck on this third period. Here we go, put up a shut up for both teams here in this third period. We are underway. Ray Ferraro is between the benches at ice level. Ray, we've got 40 minutes played so far. How have you viewed things? Minnesota's game plan really can't change or shouldn't change too much. They've owned time of possession. They've had the puck a lot. They just haven't been able to catch the game. Philadelphia's power play unit puts their hard hats on as they go back to work. Most power plays I was on, James, we were all greedy. If you had one or two earlier in the game, you wanted three or four. It never lays down. Here in the corner, he grabs the puck. And they'll be forced to tag up after that missed pass. Ellis has it now behind his own net. Trying to clear the puck from his own end. And they get the job done. Looking to break out here on the power play. I'd like to see him be a little bit more direct on the entry into the zone. They haven't got set up, and as a result, they don't really have a shot yet on this power play. Last call here on this man advantage. Yeah, the power play starting to get the puck up the ice with a little bit of urgency. And gets it in deep in the opposite corner. The Flyers get nothing here on this power play. We're back to even strength. Nice job to escape the zone. A good work by those penalty killers in this case. They're able to keep themselves in touch with the game, give themselves an opportunity to climb back in. Throws it in. Minnesota's got a hold of it against the wall. Erickson X carrying it ahead. And he makes the save. And now it's over to Rodine. Puck grab by Frost. Textbook stop by Fleury. Minnesota's got the puck. From the right side, they gain the zone. And that's broken up. Philadelphia's got it in their own zone. Spurgeon's been brought down, and we're going to get a penalty here. Let's get the official decision. That penalty really puts them back on their heels here. Even though they got the one goal lead, now you've got to defend it short of man. Well, this gives us our first chance to take a look at the team's power play unit. The power play coach had a quick meeting with the guys before they went out to start this power play. They know the importance down by one. The Wild have gained possession off the wall. Let's it go and makes the save. Trying to clear the puck. And a nice job by the Killers on that one. Yeah, now they can get a change, get some fresh players on the ice. 
Oh, there's going to be a penalty on this play here, James. Maintains possession. And a stick in the lane to flex that one away. And that one's blocked! Play whistle dead. Penalty coming up. Even though he's not very happy here, James, I don't really know what his defense is. That's a penalty to me. Opportunity for the power play unit here. A five on three as we get set to drop the puck. What a great opportunity with a two man advantage here. Move the puck quickly, shoot it, make those defenders have to scramble. Puck cleared from the defensive end. Gains the zone through the middle. Here's a short pass to Fiala. Too much traffic in the lane. We got a penalty coming up here on the play. There's the whistle, and here's the call. Special teams are always going to be a big part of any game. The penalty killers take center stage now with a one-goal lead. Minnesota's got a five-on-three and lots of time on their side. Not often you get a five-on-three of this length. You can score early. You might be able to get two. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Possession to the puck. Cannon of a shot. Comes up with the block. Minnesota's trying to make something happen in the offensive zone. Grabs the puck and moves on out here with this man advantage. To the front. They work the puck into position. The goalie's in good shape, but he doesn't even have to get a hand or an arm on it as it goes wide of the net. Here's the chance to clear the puck from his own end. Quick feed to Spurgeon. Ellis jumps up. The penalty's almost over. And now he angles it across to Hartman. The power play fails to convert. They still trail by one. Well, there are times you look for your power play, at the very least, to gain a little momentum. They needed a goal. Now they still trail by one back to even strength. Trying to get out of the defensive end. Scooped up along the wall by Spurgeon. That pass doesn't go. Oh, we'll get some tired defenders as icing is the call. James and Ray with you tonight. More than half the period has been played. The Flyers lead it 1-0. Philadelphia's got it in the defensive zone. Once you ice the puck, you got a few fatigued guys on the ice. This draw is important. There's a nasty slash that'll get some attention. Yeah, it should. It looked like he's chopping wood. Atkinson's done everything here except pull the other guy's gloves off. Both teams are set. They're ready to drop the puck. Joseph won the draw. Spurgeon's got it against the boards. And that's knocked away by Ristolainen. Trying to clear, and that's a big clear at this stage of the game. Yeah, they're all big now. You, that puck near the blue line, it's got to get out. Moves it quickly over to Bugstad. Joseph's got it in the offensive zone. Referee's hand goes up in the air. We got a delayed penalty coming up here. are about to drop the puck. The power play unit back out onto the ice for another opportunity. Hey, it doesn't really matter what the power play's done before. you, you got to have a short memory. What you have now is the power play right in front of you. Make sure you're focused in on what you're trying to accomplish. And he comes up with it. Taken along the wall by Eric Sinek. Gets in front of it. Hart's play has been outstanding tonight. From the time the puck hit the ice, he's been locked in. Great save percentage. And he's a reason they're close in this game. Turn that chance aside. They work the puck into a scoring spot. Get a pretty good chance on goal. They just can't find a way to finish it off. The Flyers gain control of it. And now it's grabbed by Ristolainen. Situation critical as we approach the final minute of the third. Sends the pass over. And he's able to handle that one. Yeah, it did, James. You can hear that funny sound when the puck hit his...
his mask. It doesn't sound like the post. It's not a stick. He shakes it off here, and the play will continue. Kroveros moving the puck through his own zone. And they clear that puck. Picked up along the wall by Ristolainen. Icing is the call. We'll get a face up at the other end. Here in the later stages of this period, 1-0 the score. The Flyers win it in the defensive zone. Taken by Dumba. Along the half wall with the puck. Here's a chance! Glove save and the play continues. Picked up along the boards by Konechny. From his own end, he picks up the puck. And now it's grabbed by Foligno. Philadelphia's got control of the puck. And there's the whistle icing the call. during the last couple minutes because you were worried about the jinx. jinx. There is no jinx. You're 150 feet away from the net. He played fantastic and his streak continues. Are you saying broadcasters can't have an impact no, on a game? No. Oh. Oh. Here's a shot! Stops him with the glove! 
I think it's a chance for a breather here as he hangs on and covers the puck up. Who, for the players or for you? Well, you know, I won't complain. Pavelski's great at getting his stick on incoming pucks to deflect them past the goalie, guys. His big tipper zone ability is really what helps him create those great A scoring chances. <laughs> Clear in the low slot, found where the opening was, and takes that pass to one time it past the goalie. The Stars have put an extra charge into this building here as they score the first goal of the game. I think this anthem singer's their lucky guy. They he finished, they scored. What a great start. Moves the puck to the attacking area. That's a textbook save by Hart. The Stars have the puck now. Stays with it. From point blank, denies him in close. No room. Scores! That's back to back for him. Well, the game has changed. Those two goals here really have changed the offer. Really tough for the goalie to read where the heck this thing's going. I'm looking at the shot. I can't tell where it's going, but the backhander beats the goaltender. James Sabalski, Ray Ferraro with you here in the early going of this period. Dallas seems to be looking for more after increasing their lead to two goals. Moves it to Hintz. And that's picked off. And that's stolen and they'll go on the attack. Oh, great. He scores. And that snapshot beats the goaltender. He's in the low slot. He doesn't have much time to think about it. Sagan's won the draw here in the neutral zone. Quick feed to Korianov. And now he moves it quickly to the down. Denies him with the save. Here he is in close. And he regains control of the puck. Scooped up along the wall by Sagan. Back to the blue line. Oh, if there's going to be a regret in this one, that might be it. Yeah, that play is right there to be had. They just missed. Score! James, he gets himself into the low slot in good position, and then he zips a backhander past the tender. Face off here in the neutral zone, and we are back underway. Up along the wing. The Stars get a hold of the puck along the boards. Dallas with possession in their own zone. Can't get it to go. Oh, it's no luck as it goes off the outside of the post. Nearing the midway mark of the period. The Stars have added to their lead. They're now up by four. Swoops in off the wing to grab the puck after the centerman tied him up. And they get that puck down the ice. Here's a short pass to Hintz. Aaron pass and they can't connect. Takes it into the slot. Big time save by Hart. Robinson's got the puck. Hammers the shot. Snaves with the glove by Hart. Some last second communication with the D as centers get ready to drop the puck. Centers jammed up and the winger grabs the puck. Tried to connect the pass, but it doesn't go. Dallas takes hold of the puck. Moves inside! Off the outside of the iron! That's close, James. The goaltender ends up beating the shooter to the post. As that's it. That looks like it's a goal, but it's shut down. Right up the gut. Here they go. Philadelphia is working the transition through the middle of the ice. Moves it quickly over to Heiskanen. Oh, textbook poke check to turn that over. And serves up a little knock on the play. The Stars will play the puck from behind the net. Stopped by the goaltender. 
Really good positioning as he makes the stop from in tight. Dallas tries to break out from their own end. Feeds it to Korianov. A little dipsy doodle and he loses possession of the puck. Penalty coming up here. Korianov called for tripping. He's off to the box. Couturier is an important piece of this club. They'll be looking for him to produce. Pavelski's known for deflecting pucks into the net, guys. His big tip for zone ability is that eye-hand skill to pull it off. I'm expecting one of these players to make a big difference for their team before the game is over. Back to you guys. Trying to exit the defensive zone. And play continues here. Great use of the stick of the defensive end by Sekera. Quick pass to Hintz. And he slides it quickly to Raffle. Drives to the sweet spot. And there's the save. Retrieves the puck, trying to kickstart this power play. Just a few seconds remaining here with this man advantage. Can they get something going here? The Stars gain possession. Puck scooped up by Sekera. Time's up for the power play. Both teams back to equal strength. Hey, I think I killed... Stars! When you get into this position, that puck's got to be off your stick in a hurry. You don't have much time to think about it. Dallas will go to work as they win the draw. And that pass can't connect. Philadelphia's got control of it now from their own end. Puck moved over to Atkinson. Moves it to Provorov. Hooked away in the neutral zone. Handles the pass up in the middle of the ice. Fires it into the offensive zone. Quick feed to Ben. And they'll go on the attack. Great pressure by Tippett. Along the right wing, they enter the attacking area. The Stars gain control of the puck. The buzzer, 20 minutes in the books, second period just around the corner. A chance for both teams to refuel. They are back on the ice, and period number two is about set to go. Set to get underway here in the second period. We'll see if they can stop the bleeding. Well, we've got over 20 minutes played thus far. Ray, how have you seen things? Dallas has absolutely steamrolled their opponent in this game. Every time you look up, they've got the puck on their stick. They're on easy strength right now. Skates to the crease. Here's a shot. Phenomenal save with the glove to knock it away. Yeah, he looked up to the roof after that one. He thought he had room. The goaltender makes the stop. Stop! You get one, you get hungry for a second one. Even if you're not a goal scorer, you get that early. Now you want to hunt for a second goal. Makes it a double on the play. That's a scorer's goal right there. That puck is on and off his stick in a hurry. He's so tight to the net, he has to get rid of it before the goalie can readjust. Dallas is quick on the draw. Here's a short pass to Hintz. In close! Turns it away. Hintz one of the group today for sure. It's not been very good from him all the way up. Grabbed along the board by Yandel. Slides the puck ahead to Atkinson. Things start to get a little physical out there. Handles the pass at center. Philadelphia's got the puck at the defensive end. Under siege, trying to get it out of their zone. And they still hang on to the puck. They don't get it out, but they still have the puck. Puck picked up by Lindblom. And it's a quick pass to Couturier. Sent into the offensive zone. 
Dallas has possession of the puck. Puck grab by Sagan. Takes the shot. Reaches out and pokes it away. Philadelphia is moving it into the offensive end. Streaking into the attacking zone for the right. Poked away and forces the turnover at center. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. Made that stop. Takes a hit on the play. Nice pass. All alone! Scores! What a finish! Yeah, once he gets into the clear, it's like he's so decisive on what he wants, and he puts it away for the goal. Bang, bang, play. The goalie's got no chance. When you're in that close and you get the chance to one-time it, you're likely going to score unless you hit the goalie. Philadelphia's back to center ice. What's the message here? Because there's still a long way to go. I don't think anybody looks too far ahead. They just, you got one goal. Try and get another. Try and get yourself within shouting distance. The Stars scoop it up along the boards. Taken by Kivaranta. Takes it to the front. Great save. Taken along the wall by Nemestikov. Dallas has put a clinic on tonight. We've still got lots of playing time left here. That's bad news for the opponent because the <laughs> yeah. first half of this game has been perfectly played. They've chased the puck the whole night. Here's a shot. Stops it cold. Here he is. Turning this into a pad the stat night. Those are always fun. I mean, if you're on this side of it. Yes. If you're on the other side, no fun allowed. And still lots of time here in this second period. Now a quick pass to Sandheim. There's a hit on the play. The Stars look to start the transition game. With the stop. Takes the feed from his netminder. And he's taken down the officials are signaling for a penalty. Here comes the sentence. You can feel the air coming out of the bench here, down a bunch, and now they take a penalty. Here's a first look at the power play. You want to win the special teams battle almost every night. Well, the power play's first chance to check in here. We'll see what they can get done. Moves it quickly over to Robertson. He's it up! What a save! He'll probably feel that one tomorrow! And they get the puck out of the danger zone. Dallas will play it from behind the net. The Flyers will kill off a few extra seconds now. Off his stick! Makes the save and putting out the fire in front! Can't get a hold of that pass. Tries to get this man advantage going from their own end now. And no luck on that pass attempt. And he loses possession of the puck after trying to make one too many moves. Pavelski's got the green light to try this move almost anywhere on the ice. The coaches have great faith in his ability, but he just can't complete it. Kind of lost control for a second there, but regains possession. Quick pass to Faxa. And the puck departs the zone. Dumped into the opposite corner. There's the whistle icing the call. Big face off looming. Centers gliding up to the face off dots here. Locks them up on the draw as they take possession. The Stars have it against the wall. Down the right side and into the zone. Approaching the final 60 seconds here in the second. Moves into the slot. Big time stop. And now it's grabbed by Couturier. Clearing attempt. And they take care of business on the play. The Stars put it near the point. Right at the doorstep. And that's stopped by Hart. Oh, James, that's close. Forward was going to be able to get to the post first, but he's not. That's a really 
strong save. No room right there. Just here, they will not be getting that injured player back. He's done for the night. Frost won the draw. Picked up along the wall by McEwen. Great reach with the poke check by Suter. Moves it to Pavelski. Just a simple save by Hart. And they'll be forced to regroup as the puck escapes the offensive end. The Stars will play it in their own end. Heiskanen's got the puck in his own zone. The Stars take it across the line. Great puck check on the reach. Quick feed to Heiskanen. Dallas plays it along the wing. into the paint and he elects to explore his options puck scooped up by Pavelski the Flyers take possession in the defensive end puck sent down the ice we'll get an icing the setters will glide into the dot The Stars will go to work here in the offensive zone. Those face-offs after icings are important. Now you've got the puck and they're a little tired. Poked away in the defensive end. The Flyers take over on possession. Slides the puck across to Atkinson. Cross-corner dump in. And the officials waving off icing here. Picked up along the boards by Lindblom. Simple stop by Ottinger. Pretty efficient save there. The goalie helps the D-man out by putting the rebound in the corner. Dumps it in. Dallas gains a hold of the puck against the boards. Scooped up along the wall by Klingberg. Moves the puck inside the offensive zone. Philadelphia is looking to break out of their own end. Passes it over to Lindblom. Here's a short pass to Radulov. From the point, looks to make something happen. Can't find his man. Takes the pass. Quick feed down low. Dallas plays it against the boards. Puck picked up by Yandel. Gains the zone through center. Cuts to the point. The Stars have it now. Moves the puck along the half wall. So they'll be forced to do it over from center. Here's a chance up front, and that's broken up. Oh, that doesn't go well. The Stars gain control of the puck against the wall. From center, they get into the attacking area. Denies him with the pad. Oh, aggressive move as he pulls it away. From the point, they take control of it. Dallas has it against the half wall. From the point, blocked in traffic. And that's a solid clearing attempt on the play. Sekera's got it in the offensive end. Handles the puck. Knocked away with the stick by Kibaranta. That's blocked. What a play defensively to block that. Dallas looks to break out in their own end. Makes a move, and the puck hops away from him. I see what he's doing, James. He's got some room, and he's got great hands, but that's probably not the best place on the ice to make that move. Philadelphia's got a hold of the puck. Directed over to Frost. They got a pair on a two-on-one. And that's turned aside by Ottinger. They go on the attack through center. And offside, we'll get a reset here. 
check in with her own Carlin Babe. Who had a better night in that head-to-head -head matchup with the Stars? Pavelski's been buzzing, and he's been rewarded here. His name in the box score proves he's had a stronger night, guys. The Stars move it in. Dallas slides the puck against the wall. Oh, big time safe. tonight and it continues here in this third they haven't taken their foot off the accelerator for one second tonight i've been really impressed how they've dominated this game easy peasy right there by ottinger well he clearly doesn't like what's going on there in the yeah, crease yeah they're going to exchange some words here the goalie and the, and the player are hot crystal line is ready to go and a challenge being thrown down here yeah it came out of nowhere a little bit and the challenge is down Robertson's not interested in dropping the mitts and going at it. Lawton's won it off the faceoff. Oh, and he tracks it perfectly in the offensive end. Puck grab by Klingberg. And that's taken away in the offensive end by Klingberg. Here's a chance behind the net. Grabbed along the board by Sagan. The Stars gain possession along the wall. Takes the feed. Oh, how did he keep it out? What a block of stop by Hart. There's the final board. This one's in. Dallas offense really seems to push the pace there tonight, Ray. From your, uh, from your vantage point down at ice level, what'd you see? Well, they never spent any time in their zone. They'd go back for it quickly out of their zone, then up the ice. They had the puck, it seemed, way more than half the game. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to EA Sports. Continuing coverage of the National Hockey League. And we've got a good one tonight. An interconference showdown east side, west side. I'm James. He's Ray. Just moments away from puck drop. Both teams seem ready to go. The Flyers start with possession as we are now underway. Taken by Rantanen. Slides it back to the blue line. Went for the dirty dangle and it goes sideways. McCarr's close to pulling off a great move there. Just denied in zone. Colorado's got a hold of it along the wall. McKinnon swooping in on the attack. And that's broken up in the defensive zone by Provorov. And that one's broken up by a great defensive play. And now it's grabbed by Atkinson. Puck scooped up by Rantanen. Colorado's got it along the wall. Here's a chance! Glove save made by Hart. He makes the glove stop right from the slot. That's a dangerous chance. Lots of time left in this period. 
Still no score in this one. Offense is on face off, and he wins the draw. Colorado's got the puck. Taken along the wall by Landeskog. The Flyers have it from their own end. Couldn't complete the pass. Moves it around along the half wall. Broken up with the stick at the defensive end. Nice zone entry from the right side. Fires one. Oh, just gets a piece of it with the toe stop. Puck picked up by Sanheim. Moves it quickly over to Ristolainen. That's set in deep and the forwards will change. Gerard's got it in the defensive end. The Avs take it along the wall. Makes a move in front. With the stop. And that one's broken up. Hart's on top of the puck and that'll stop the play. Pretty conservative play here, James, as he covers it up to kill the play. Plenty of playing time left in this frame. We've still got zeros on the board. Colorado's got it, and they're on the attack. Here's a shot! Scores! They came, they saw, they took advantage of the rebound and score. A uh, goalie burps up this rebound here. It comes right back into the shooting area, and the rebound is put away. The Avalanche have found the back of the net, and they now lead the game 1-0. There are periods of time where they're slow starters, so a goal like this will go a long way to boosting their confidence. Through center along the wing. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. Quick pass to Provorov. Moves the puck. Sends it in on the attack. The Avalanche have possession along the boards. Oh, we'll get some tired defenders as icing is the call. More than half the frame has been played here. The Avs have taken a 1-0 lead. The Flyers win the draw. Hey, maybe you can create some offense against the tired team after the icing. Oh, and they can't keep the puck in the zone. They'll be forced to tag up. Hayes plays it now. Face-off looming as both centers get into position. Colorado's won the draw. Off a stick. Colorado's got the puck in the corner. Here he is from the slot. Oh, and he just gets a piece of it. Great extension on the play. Really good work. I like this chance here as they get the puck into a scoring spot. Goal is just better on this time. Picked up along the wall by Konechny. Colorado's got it near the point. Puck grabbed by McKinnon. Great chance in front. And that one's broken up. The Flyers move the puck into the defensive zone. Colorado's going to play it from the corner. Good look. Not a good result, though. Yeah, they can't cash in if they can't get it on the net. Really good. He scores! They didn't sit back after getting that first one. They pile a back-to-back -back goal on here. This is a stick-handling clinic. Man, he touches every once in a while where he gets a little bit of room, and then the dangles come out. The defenders are reaching. They're trying to poke the puck off him. Their feet, and he walks in to put this behind the goals. Colorado's in now. Puck exits the zone. Across the line from center. Passes right to the front, and they can't convert to the play. And a bad pass, and they'll be forced to start all over again outside the offensive end. Johnson's taking it from his own end. Looks to pass it to Cogliano. The Avs looking against the half wall. And they can't connect. And that's not the side with the stick by Couturier. Cutting to the front of the net. Some solid defensive work in their own end with the poke check. There's the horn ending the first period. 
Both teams will have a chance to regroup. You do you, and we'll be back with period number two in a moment. The middle stanza is about to go. The official's ready to drop the puck. The Avs win the draw here in the neutral zone. Into the attacking area from the left side. And a nice takeaway in the defensive end by Yandel. Philadelphia's team defense is something to watch tonight. I love the way that they've just shut this game down. Oh, a clutch save! Heart save right there is an excellent one. And there's the whistle as he elects to slow things down a little. A pretty good decision here with the play starting to break down in front of him. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. Colorado's got some breathing room as they lead it 2-0. They take possession as he locks him up off the faceoff. Keeps hold of the puck. Trying to clear the zone. Well, they don't clear, but they still have the puck. Through the middle of the ice, they enter the attacking zone. Play is called for offside. McKinnon's best chances come when he has the space to move, guys. It doesn't take long for him to get his speed going, and he can put moves on defenders when he's moving quickly to fake them out. That's what his ankle breaker zone ability is all about, guys. And they get the puck out of the defensive end. And uses the length of his stick to knock that puck away. Here's the clearing attempt. And they still hang on to the puck after that failed clearing. Taken by McCarr. Poked away by Tippett. And now it's grabbed by York. Picked up along the board by Lawton. And they get the puck out. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Philadelphia's got the puck in their own end. The Avalanche have gained possession off the wall. Into the offensive zone. Driving right to the front. The Flyers gain possession in their own end. Good reach to the stick to knock the puck away. The Flyers have it now. Colorado's got possession of the puck. Let's it fly. He scores. Well, it rains and pours. Man, they are just coming out in buckets right now as they get three straight, really a dominating performance. The only way he's stopping this one is if it hits him. As soon as the shooter went to shoot it, the goaltender dropped into the butterfly. He's looking around that trap and hoping he can find it. The Avs are now trending towards a blowout here the way they're playing tonight. James, it's been this way most of the night. They've had the puck most of the time. Now they're up a three spot. They're pretty comfortable in this game. Byron's got it along the wing. Colorado's playing it from the side. played poorly. The forwards and defensemen have played poorly. You can wrap a bowl around this one, James, and package it up. That's a bad night. James and Ray with you tonight. More than half the period has been played. The Avs have taken control of this one, now leading by three. Philadelphia has won the faceoff deep in their own end. Takes the feed from the left side. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Kemper's gonna slow things down and up for the whistle. Oh, you gotta kill the play eventually. That way everyone can get reorganized. Centers get set as they're ready to drop the puck again. The Flyers win the faceoff. Scooped up along the wall by Atkinson. Sends one up to Lekanen. Icing is the call. We'll get a faceoff at the other end. Offensive zone. Too much congestion blocks the shot. The Avalanche have the puck against the boards. Philadelphia's gained possession. Pucks it away here in the neutral zone. Move to the middle. Just can't complete that pass. Oh, he's got the right play in mind. He just doesn't execute the final pass. Grabbed along the board by Proveroff. Trying to get the puck out of his own end. And he gets the job done. Big thumbs up clearing that one. 
Way too much congestion blocks that. There's the whistle as things will slow down here for a moment. Always a good play if you're not sure what's going on. Freeze the puck. The Avs win it. Take it along the wall by Gerard. The Avs will play it against the boards. Here he is with the backhander. Stones him in front. Nice move by the goalie to get out close to the shooter. Manages to hang on. Read that perfectly with the poke check. Picked up along the wall by Van Riemsdyk. Scores! Is that momentum screaming now? Well, he's whispering. If they can get another one, he'll start to scream here. That's about as lucky as you can get. You need some puck luck most of the time to win. There's a good chunk of it. The Flyers have got one late here in the second. What does this do for a team? Well, it gives you a little bit of hope, but man, they've been so far in the hole. This isn't enough hope to think you can really come back. And that's picked off in front. Looking to clear the defensive zone. He grabs the puck here on the point. The Flyers are on the attack. Dumps it into the Ozone. Puck scooped up by Nachuskin. Along the right side into the offensive zone. The Flyers scoop it up along the boards. And they'll dump it in. Colorado's got the puck. Streaking through center, they go on the attack. Almost lost the puck, but hangs on here as play continues. Well, two periods down and one more still to come. Third period action right after we get a clean sheet of ice. Been a great night for hockey so far. He's Ray Ferraro, I'm James Sabalski. Let's drop the puck on this third period. Moment of truth for that team. Here we go. Third period is underway. Ray Ferraro is between the benches at ice level. Ray, we've got 40 minutes played so far. How have you viewed things? The Flyers are going to have to find a way to get their hands on the puck, James. They're exhausting themselves chasing this thing around. They haven't had it much, and they're losing. Rondinen's a good passer who doesn't throw it too hard or too soft, guys. He can dish them out just right to make sure his team can get things going. That's his tape-to-tape -tape zone ability, and it's how he likes to contribute to the play. Picked up along the board, Crawford. The Avalanche have taken possession along the wall. Puck picked up by McCarr. Oh, tremendous athletic reflexes there with the toe stop. Philadelphia's got a hold of the puck now. Puck grabbed by Luck. Here's the clearing attempt. And makes the routine save. And that one's blocked. They'll keep it on the attack. And he slides it quickly to McKinnon. And that's picked off. Taken by Yandel. Moves it to Lawton. Colorado's grabbed a hold of the puck. Fires it into the offensive corner. The Avs have it behind the cage. Atkinson stays with it. Race for the puck here. Icing waved off on the play. Scores! Gabriel Landeskog! Goalie just can't keep up with this. He's close to the net, but he's still able to have enough room to beat the goaltender. The Avalanche have been showing no mercy tonight. So many nights, it's tooth and nail to get a victory. Not tonight. This is comfortable for them. And now it's grabbed by Gerard. Manson's going to play it against the half wall. Right on the doorstep. Reach 
with the poke check. And he regains control of the puck. Maintains possession. Gets it out of his own end. Moves with the puck at the corner. Snaps one on net. Gives them nothing in front. Oh, it stops him again. And here's a pass to Van Reemsdyk. Hangs onto the puck. Colorado's got a hold of it along the wall. Now he takes it over the line. Puck scooped up by Gerard. Control the puck. And there's the whistle icing the call. More than half the period has expired. The Avs now lead by three. The Flyers win the draw. Important draw to win so you're not chasing around in your zone. Receives the pass. in the zone. Sends a pass over. Quick feed to Couturier. Stopped with ease. Takes the feed after his goalie chooses not to cover up. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. And the shot dies in the traffic jam. Knocked away by Sanheim. The Flyers move to the offensive zone. The Avs take possession in the defensive end. Right up the gut into the attacking zone. Slides the puck down low. Beautiful read in the defensive end by Konechny. And the puck clears the zone. Along the right wing, they enter the attacking area. Well, it didn't like that after that shot after the whistle. They're going to go here. This isn't about winning the game anymore. This is about settling a score. Things got pretty quiet here when the decision was pretty clearly to the road team. Well, with the chaos cleared, face off now for both teams. The Avs win possession here in the open ice. This incredibly one-sided contest finally reaches its final minute. Picking up steam in the offensive zone. A chance on goal. Stopped by the goaltender. Here's a short pass to Faraby. Nice zone entry from the middle. And not much on that one. The Avs gain possession. Working the puck deep inside their own end. Scooped up along the wall by Landeskog. Here in the corner, he grabs the puck. And some good footwork to kick it away. The lane was plugged up and that shot's blocked. Pass across to Atkinson. And a quick burst of speed will wave off the ice in there. Yeah, really good effort. He could have bailed on that play, but he keeps it alive. To his teammate! Can't connect! It's in the back of the net, but it's not going to count as the whistle goes before the puck went in. Final horn sounds bringing this one to a close. Colorado's puts on a clinical performance in the win tonight. Love their game tonight. They were all over their opponent. No room to breathe, and they put this away comfortably.
It's an Eastern Conference collision, and we've got you covered here tonight on EA Sports. Hi, everybody. I'm James Sabolski, along with Ray Ferraro, who's ready to go between the benches. Both teams lined up in the middle. We are ready to get things underway. The Lightning have established possession here early in this one as they win the draw. And now he tries to get it across to Hedman. And that's intercepted by Atkinson. Up along the wall on the right side and into the attacking area. Barry's got the puck in his own zone. Takes the feed. There's the whistle icing the call. Big face off looming. Lots of time left in this period. We're still scoreless. Couturier's won the faceoff. Oh, he thinks it wins the draw there. Now they can get out of the zone. The Bulls gain possession of the puck here in the offensive end. Slides it on over to Faraby. Philadelphia's got it across the line. The Bulls will play it through the neutral zone. Tampa Bay's got the puck against the boards. Takes the feet at the back end. Too much congestion in front. Moves it quickly over to Couturier. The Bulls gain control of the puck against the wall. Pass to Paul. Can't connect on the pass. Now that's a great heads up in the defensive zone that goes the turnover. The Flyers gain possession along the wall. The Lightning have the puck on the attack. Great hits up play with the stick by Pajuria. Grabbed along the board by Konechny. They go on the attack through center. Quick pass to Trinac. Stops the rocket of a shot. Hart's going to smother it to get a whistle. Can get dangerous if nobody's in control of the puck. Nearing the midway mark of the period. Still scoreless in this one. The Bulls take possession off the faceoff. And not much on that one. That's not even a rebound anymore. It's like a cleared puck. Off the goalie and into the corner is the safe place. And now he moves it quickly to point. And there's another stop. I love the way that he's in position, and he's got the reflexes to bang out a couple of stops in a row. Foot's got it into offensive territory. And they'll be forced to tag up after that missed pass. To the low slot. Stopped by the goaltender. Sharp reaction save. Teams are ready to go, and we're about moments away from puck drop. Philadelphia has won the draw, and they'll go to work. And he gets in the lane to block that. Moves it to Sorelli. The Flyers move it in. Puck bounces into the bench, and we'll get a face off. Past the halfway mark of this period, the game is still scoreless. Puck is dropped, and we are back underway. Tight to the net, he doesn't have much time, and that snapshot beats the goaltender from the low slot. Tampa Bay's playing with a little confidence now here, Ray. Completely different team. The last couple of shifts, it seemed like the puck was starting to come for them. Now they're on the board, and they're gonna be confident now. That's not gonna fool them. Tampa Bay's got it in their own zone. Puck picked up by McDonough. Slides it to Sorelli. Moves the puck along the half wall. Sends the pass down low. And that's a great hits up play by Hayes. Philadelphia's team defense is something to watch tonight. I love the way that they've just shut this game down. Slides the pass over to Colton. Philadelphia's got possession at center. 
looks for a way to keep the pressure on. And things start to ramp up a little bit now on the ice with that play. Moves the puck up to Konechny. Fires it into the offensive zone. And they won't connect on that one. From center, they get into the attacking area. Oh, they'll be forced to start over from center as the puck leaves the zone. Here he is on the backhand. And a huge stop by the goaltender at point blank range. I like how he was able to follow the puck. Good saving close. The Flyers have it now. And they'll be forced to regroup as the puck escapes the offensive end. Philadelphia is looking to break out. Nearing the final 60 seconds here this first period. The Lightning have possession along the boards. Quick feed to the room. And he'll take a moment to regroup back at center. And that's broken up. There's the whistle as the puck goes out of play. And both centers glide into the dot as a face-off set to resume. And with the buzzer, that puts a bow on the first 20 minutes of play. We've got lots more still to come. Second period action next, right here. Still lots of time left in the period. Tampa Bay's got a 2-0 lead. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Win the draw after the icing. You possess the puck while they're running around a little bit tired. Take away in the offensive end. Puck grab by York. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Tippett. Stop! Oh my goodness! That's a five alarm stop there! Excellent chance. They work the puck into position, and it's a scoring chance that's turned away. Both centers ready to take the draw here coming up. Win the face off. Sends the pass over. Tampa Bay's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Cuts to the paint. Oh, how did he get a glove on that? What a stop by Hart. 
Yeah, I hate it when I miss chances like this, James. You don't get many that are this quality. You want to put them away because you don't know when the next one's going to come. Here in the back half of this period, the Bulls are currently sitting in the driver's seat leading 2-0. While the centers are jammed up, nice job by the winger to steal the puck. Fails to find the open man. Intercepted. Philadelphia has put themselves in a good defensive posture all night. That's hard work. That's being on top of your game. They've been an excellent team tonight. Quick pass to Ellis. Along the wing, up the neutral zone. Taken along the wall by Atkinson. An easy save by Vasilevsky. Foot stick handling in his own zone. He's got a step. Oh, great defensive back check there. That's why you never give up on the play. You're beaten at one point. Your effort gets you back in the play. The Bulls take it across the blue line. Taken by Atkinson. Tampa Bay's got the puck. Right out front. And that one's broken up. And now it's grabbed by Farabee. Nice zone entry from the right side. Picked up along the wall by Perry. Two on one. A shot. Oh, gets a blocker on it to turn it away. Oh, and another siege. With the puck under siege. Can he get out of the zone here? Pass right in front. He scores. Three is the magic number. And that goalie is getting just torched down there. Three in a row here. It's really good work offensively as they grind away till that opening shows up. And that's the one-timer from the low slot. Getting into the later stages of this period, the Bolts just recently adding to their lead. They're now up by three. Philadelphia's got it against the boards. Tampa Bay's in transition. Great reach with the stick in the neutral zone by Hayes. Puck scooped up by Kucherov. Philadelphia's got control of it now from their own end. Across the line from center. Less than a minute to go here in the second. Takes the pass as he banks it off the wall. Loves the puck into the corner of the offensive zone. Oh, what a stop by Hart! There it is. That's a wrap for period number two. Both teams will get a chance to get a little breather here, and we'll come back. Third period action next. The moment of truth has arrived for both these teams. Third period action set to go. Well, this has been an absolute blowout through the first two periods as we get underway here in the third. Well, we've got two periods under our belts to this point so far, Ray. How do you see things? Philadelphia's been chasing this game and chasing the puck much of the first two periods. If they're going to get back in it, they've got to possess the puck a lot more. Ben Greenstein's taking it from his own end. Trying to clear. And just a good old-fashioned solid body check on the play. That pass doesn't go. Picked up along the boards by Kucherov. Oh, and it stays out with the toe save. Hart's no different than anybody else tonight. I mean, that's a good stop that he makes, but he hasn't been very good, and the team has played rather poorly. Oh! And what a great shot. I mean, he gets in the offensive zone. He's looking shot all the time. He's also loving the one-timer, and he does not miss. It's really quite unbelievable to watch this over and over again. They get into the offensive zone. You know they're looking for him. Everybody in the building does. And they still find a way to get him to puck, and he powders it into the net. And play resumes as the puck is dropped. We got a penalty coming up here. Easily turned aside by Vasilevsky. Whistle blows, stopping the play. Calls going off for interference. Our first opportunity to look at the power play unit set to go to work. Power play and penalty kill go a long way 
to determining what your team's going to be like. This is the power play's first chance. We'll see if they can get on the board. Philadelphia's gained possession along the boards. Sends it ahead to Konechny. Nice pass. The Lightning have the puck against the boards. Routine save made by Vasilevsky. Slides the puck to Belmar. The Flyers take possession of the neutral zone. Puck picked up by Belmar. Time running out on this power play. They've got one last chance here. Answered the call there. There's another stop. Cole's time is almost done. The Flyers can't convert on the power play. Both sides are back to even strength. Well, the only thing that happened on that power play was the clock rolled along. Very few chances, not much danger. Rocks him. The Flyers take over on possession. Philadelphia's got possession of the puck. Strong defensive effort. Looks to make a play over to Faraby. And he makes the easy save. Tampa Bay's got a hold of the puck. And they'll go on the attack after that turnover. And he stands tall in goal. Takes the pass. Gains the zone through center. Shot, and he makes the save. Scooped up along the wall by Tippett. The Flyers gain possession. Handles it, and here comes the pushback. Cole's turning this challenge down. That's not part of his game. Well, he's just slowly working his way to the bench games where the training staff's going to look at him. Had an awkward play earlier in the shift, and he doesn't look very good right now. And puts the body into it, a little bumper car hockey. And that's poked away. Looks to get the puck over to Palat. Cutting to the slot. Coaches talk about getting to the front of the net, make it difficult on the goalie, take his eyes away. Man, he only can see the players' butts in front of him. He can't even see the puck. Tampa Bay's all smiles on the bench next to you, aren't they? Yeah, they're having lots of fun. Not so much on the other side, where this night has been a nightmare. Moves it to Ristolainen. The Bulls have it now. And he's going out. Offside the call, we'll get a reset. Hayes is looking for somebody to engage in a fight with. He can't find the right guy. Past the midway mark in this period. Tampa Bay's offense is showing no signs of slowing down as they have extended this blowout. Philadelphia's got him along the wall. Puck grab by Kucherov. Referee singles penalty coming up here with a delayed call. The Bolts will have a chance to get on the power play for the first time this evening. Well, the power play gets to dust itself off here. First opportunity tonight. And now it's over to Lindblom. Denies him in front. Sandheim's lugging the puck. Enters the offensive zone from the left. Textbook stopped by Vasilevsky. Delayed penalty coming up here. There's the whistle, and here's the call. The Lightning have found themselves undermanned. Interference the call. As we get set for the face-off, a chance to see both teams in a little four-on-four -four action here. Four-on-four -four play usually starts pretty cautiously. It takes one missed pass or one missed shot, and all of a sudden there's man advantage breaks opening up all over. He's got a jump here. Look at this. Oh, yeah. They'll wave off. Look at go. He gets all the way down the ice to clear that ice and otherwise face off in his zone. Feeds the puck over to Faraby. Tries to the crease. Decides to think about it. Perry's ready to go. And time expires on the power play. Both teams back to even. That power play was a lot of window dressing. 
They had the puck in the offensive zone, but really didn't generate a whole lot. The penalty killers must be pretty happy with that. Less than 60 seconds to play in this blowout. The Flyers have it behind the cage. The Lightning have possession along the boards. Referee Shilovac's hand is in. 